Good morning. It is March 4th, 2020. The time is 9 o'clock. My name is Joy. I am a van dweller along with my 14-year-old Chihuahua and my 30-year-old Cockatiel. We're sitting alongside a retention pond, which thankfully has no water in it. I just noticed on the other side of the bushes a flagpole. Flag is at half mast. I don't know why. I don't know what that building is. Maybe we'll drive by later and check it out. We don't have drainage in South Florida. So when we have torrential rains or in a situation like a hurricane, There are retention ponds to capture the rainwater with the purpose of avoiding flooding. This is all residential area here in the distance. Like I said, I don't know what that building is. I thought it was an apartment building. You can see a piece of heavy duty equipment. It's a little bit behind the trees now. They're doing some kind of work over there. Maybe we can drive by and see what it is. I'm not that interested to know, to tell you the truth. Here's our neighbor. Parks there all of the time. Now, can someone explain to me what is the difference between me, a van dweller, and this uh, trucker? Without the truckers, we would not have food on our tables. We would not have clothes on our backs. We would not have tires for our cars. We would not have a roof on our house. Basically everything in the United States is transported by long distance truckers. Yes, trains also transport a lot of materials. But actually it's the truckers. They're the heart of America. They live in their rig. As far as I know, people don't look down their nose at a trucker living in a rig. But they sure do look down their nose at a person living in their vehicle. The person living in their vehicle might be going to work 40 hours a week and still not be able to afford an apartment in a building. So why are we, why does anybody look down their nose at a person living in their vehicle? I don't understand it. I had an encounter yesterday with a Fort Lauderdale police officer. I'm going to do a video on it. It was an unpleasant, unnecessary encounter. Stay tuned, and you'll get the whole story. In the meantime, we had a wonderful day yesterday. Met with a friend, had lunch together. The temperature was very nice last night. We slept very, very soundly. It was surprising. Um, we had gone into Walmart. 
and found a fan. But I didn't plug it in. I was so tired. By the time we went for a long ride on the scooter after Walmart, I put our purchase in the car, and we went for a long ride on the scooter. I was so tired. I just got in. We got settled. That was it. I was sound asleep for about seven hours. But we got a USB fan. It's ideal. See little child? You see her? Where is she? There she is. Right there. There's an air conditioner vent. There's an air conditioner vent. She loves to lay right there in front of the vent so that it's blasting on her face. She likes to be covered up. Everywhere except her face. She'll get under her blanket in front of that vent <laughs> and close her eyes and sleep with that air conditioner vent blowing on her and fully covered up to her eyebrows. Well, sometimes we don't have the air conditioner running. And we need the air circulating. So for $5.48, I got her a fan. See? So I'm happy about that. Of course, when I'm driving, I have the air conditioner on. So it was a good day. We were blessed with lunch. We were blessed with good company. We were blessed with beautiful weather. Child had so much fun. She was running ahead of the scooter. She loves that. She loves to be six feet ahead of me. Not seven, not five, six, exactly where she wants to be. My little alpha child loves, loves being just ahead of me. That's her thing. And she was literally running. And for a 14-year-old, it thrills me to see her be so happy and to be running. So we had a good day. Great sleep. Walmart has fans. We got the little USB fan. And I got another fan. It's a rechargeable fan. Of course, the fan was $28 and the charger with battery was $62. So that knocked out 100 bucks real easy. But it should last us a very long time. It's a two-speed. We'll probably show you when it's set up. But right now, this little 5-inch USB fan is keeping the air blowing over my little child, and she's happy. She's a happy baby. That's all that matters to me, is that my little chihuahua and my little cockatiel are safe, well-fed, and comfortable. They bless me every moment. The little child has such a terrific personality. And little bird sings or chirps. He interacts with me. Makes me very happy. Sometimes we have to look hard for the blessings. They're there. We just have to open our eyes and see them and embrace them. Enjoy your day. May your day be beautifully well blessed. May all of your blessings jump up to greet you. May you embrace them with tremendous gratitude and say thank you. <laughs>